It is Thanksgiving Sunday, and happy Thanksgiving to you all. Welcome to this time of worship for Northminster United Church as we gather in heart and spirit on this day of gratitude. We gather this morning around our Christ candle. We remember that we are a faith family growing in our faith and sharing God's love with our neighbors near and far. And we pray that this time of worship will be uh, refreshing for your spirit and will help you draw closer to God. We also pause to remember and recognize with thanks that we are worshiping, working, living, and playing on Treaty 7 land. This morning is an opportunity for us through our prayer and our reflection and our singing to lift our praises to God, the giver of all good, who continually pours blessings on us, and to remember that God's faithfulness has no end and God's care is unfailing in our lives. In this time, may we praise God for the beauty and the bounty of the earth for day and night and summer and winter and springtime and fall with its seed time and its harvest, for the diverse gifts of loveliness which every season brings. We give thanks for all the comforts and the joys in life, for our homes, our friends, for all the love and sympathy and goodwill of all people. Welcome to worship this morning. Let us sing. Thanksgiving, let us pray. For each new morning with its light, for rest and shelter of the night, for health and food, for love and friends, for everything your goodness sends. Thankful for family and loved ones too, thankful for things good and true, thankful for harvest in the fall. Uh, thankful to you who gave it all. Thank you, God, for all that grows. Thank you for the sky's rainbows. Thank you for the stars that shine. Thank you for these friends of mine. Thank you for the moon and sun. Thank you, God, for all you've done. God, we thank you for walking with us each day and for the joy that comes from knowing we're not alone. We are nourished with hope, sustained by your strength and love. 
filled with concern and care for others. God, we thank you for your harvest, which feed us each day. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Amen. Psalm 26 is a good one to remember through the years because our years are not always filled with the moments of joy and ease and abundance. In the last 18 months, we've witnessed firsthand the implications of a pandemic on health, connection to others, ability to work and to travel, the stress on our healthcare system, the economy, and the ability for children and youth to learn in school. Verses 1 to 3 recall how it felt to be thankful in a really good year after the Israelites had returned from exile. And verses 4 to 6 are filled with hope during a bad year the, that the good years will return. No matter the circumstances, may we always find moments for thanksgiving. Psalm 126, verses 1 to 6. When the Lord brought back his exiles to Jerusalem, it was like a dream. We were filled with laughter and we sang for joy. And the other nations said, what amazing things the Lord has done for them. Yes, the Lord has done amazing things for us. What joy. Restore our fortunes, Lord, as streams renew the desert. Those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy. They weep as they go to plant their seed, but they sing as they return with the harvest. Thank you. 
Our second scripture on this Thanksgiving Sunday is from Joel chapter 2. Don't be afraid, O land. Be glad now and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Don't be afraid, you animals of the field, for the wilderness pastures will soon be green. The trees will again be filled with fruit. Fig trees and grapevines will be loaded down once more. Rejoice, you people of Jerusalem. Rejoice in the Lord your God. For the rain God sends demonstrates faithfulness. Once more, the autumn rains will come, as well as the rains of spring. The threshing floors will again be piled high with grain, and the presses will overflow with new wine and olive oil. The Lord says, I will give you back what you lost to the swarming locusts, the hopping locusts, the stripping locusts, and the cutting locusts. Once again, you will have all the food you want, and you will praise the Lord your God, who does these miracles for you. Never again will my people be disgraced. Then you will know that I am among my people, Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. Never again will my people be disgraced. So while we are sharing together in our conversation time, I would love for you to take a second and type something into the comments section that you are thankful for today. Just take a moment now and do that, whether it's something you're thankful for this morning, or maybe it's something that you experienced this week, or maybe it's something you overcame this year. Just whatever it is that you're grateful for this morning, do share with each other in the comments section. So what are you thankful for? Well, I can tell you for myself today, I am really thankful for everybody who's participating this morning. All of our adults, our youth who are sharing in the readings, um, all of the voices under Sarah's leadership who are sharing music with us today. Uh, up in our live stream, we've got Craig and David and Ted. I'm grateful for their capabilities today to help us be together. And our children, all six children that you heard share that opening prayer were born into and baptized into Northminster as really little wee ones. And now they're old enough and capable enough and willing enough to share their gifts of leadership, their reading. So I'm, I'm super grateful for that today as well. So do share all the things that you are grateful for. And, and please read, please read what's, what others are sharing Often when we make a list or we name things we're thankful for, it's, it's things that mean the most to us, like people, like I shared today, where a lot of you will be sharing um, friends and family, for example, or, or food and all these things that, that, that give us quality of life, really important things in our lives, things that are they're with us every day, that sustain us every day. But how about other things? Could we get a little bit silly and informal even with the things we're thankful for, like I'm thankful for coffee in my yellow to-go mug, right? That's something I'm grateful for um, most days of the week. How about, how about you're thankful when the oatmeal cookies have chocolate chips in them instead of raisins? I know lots of people who prefer that, so that's something fun that we can show we're grateful for. Um, I'm thankful on the mornings when I have time to make a poached egg to go on my toast instead of just having toast, for example. But it's kind of fun, isn't it? Like, there's fun things, silly things we can share that we're grateful for as well, in addition to the things we often associate as being more important. So, so share, share what you're grateful for this morning, even, even the fun or things that might seem silly, but share them, share them. Um, how about, and here's something, how about dirt, soil, land? Is that something we can be grateful for as well? Well, yes, of course. And actually, in the Joel reading just before this that Brett read for us, it actually said that even Joel, even for the soil, Joel says, to be glad and rejoice. Even the soil, the dirt, can be glad and rejoice. And I can, I can think of lots of wonderful things about, 
about soil, about dirt. Like they grew these sunflowers in my yard this summer. Or if you're out working in the, in the dirt and just the smell of the dirt. Or if you're a kid and you get to make mud pies and get all dirty and mucky in the soil. That is so much fun. We can be thankful for dirt when you look at the living things in it, the, the bugs and the worms and all the parts that show how healthy that soil is. How about, how about the things soil and dirt can help us make? Like how clay can become a mug or a bowl that we can eat from, or it can become bricks that help us build homes. There's so much we can do with what comes from the land. So it seems silly at first to give thanks for dirt, but really it has an important part to play. Even the minerals in our dirt can help us create medicines and things that help heal people. So, so those are sorts of the things I want us to be thankful for today, the important things, but also the things we think are sometimes just silly, but actually have a really important part for us to play, um, or an important part to play in our lives, rather. And if we just summarize this moment up, we can go back to Joel once again, who again says, don't be afraid, O land, be glad and rejoice, for God has done great things. So even for the land to rejoice, so can we. I look forward to reading all these wonderful things you are thankful for. And in the meantime now, let's sing a song again about being thankful. Thanks a lot. I'd like to share a reading with you this morning before our last scripture. You'll remember the book, The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. That's probably one of his most well-known writings. But I have a poem I'd like to share with you now today. It's called, What If? And it's all one word, W-H-A-T-I-F, What If? Last night, while I lay thinking here, some what ifs crawled inside my ear and pranced and partied all night long and sang their same old what if song. What if I'm not good in school? What if they've closed the swimming pool? What if I get beat up? What if there's poison in my cup? What if I start to cry? What if I get sick and die? What if I flunk that test? What if green hair grows on my chest? What if nobody likes me? What if a bolt of lightning strikes me? What if I don't grow taller? 
What if my head starts getting smaller? What if the fish don't bite? What if the wind tears up my kite? What if they start a war? What if my parents get divorced? What if the bus is late? What if my teeth don't grow and straight? What if I tear my pants? What if I never learn to dance? Everything seems well, and then the nighttime what ifs strike again. I think we've all had those experiences, whether it's in the middle of the night or other times, where we worry and we lose our focus on the joys and what we are blessed with and focus instead on these other things. And so as we celebrate Thanksgiving and what we are blessed with, I invite you now, having heard this poem, What If?, to listen now to these words as Tracy reads from Matthew chapter 6. Today's gospel reading is from Matthew 6, 25 to 33. This is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for the wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, God will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things, saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly God already knows all of your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and God will give you everything you need. Word of God, Word of life, thanks be to God.
Thanksgiving prayer. Let us share together in this time of prayer the prayers you share with each other in the comment section of Facebook. Prayer we lift to God in silence, and with these words, let us pray. Dear God, we join our hearts and hands in the gratitude on this day where we have the abundance of our lives before us. We remember on this day those who do not have enough, who are afraid, who are lonely, and who suffer. We wish, we wish for the bounty of this world to be shared, for fear to become love, for the lonely to feel welcome, and for the suffering to know rest and joy. For the labors, the love, the care that they give us, the delights of this day, and every day we say thank you for the nourishment of our spirit, the challenges that strengthens us, and our friends we have on the journey, we sing thank you. For all that is our lives, for these good gifts we pray thanks. Overflowing with gratitude, we live our lives in thanks. Let us say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Mother, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We try to say thank you on a regular basis. Thank you um, for the ways that you serve um, and make your church a priority in your life. But today, especially on behalf of our board and our faith community, I do want to say thank you again and remind you how much indeed your generosity of your finances and your time and your prayers matter and make a difference. And so on this Thanksgiving, an extra thank you to each and every one of you. Let's pray to bless our gifts. Loving and gracious God, your blessings are countless and your love is never ending. As we celebrate this Thanksgiving, we pray that you will open our hearts to you and to one another, that we may share the gifts you have given us in loving service to all people. Grant us joy of heart and may peace dwell with us. Amen. A few announcements to highlight from your Friday email this week. We are again inviting you to participate as a volunteer, as a host, in our parking lot on the 31st for Trunk or Treat. This is an opportunity, a safe way during the day for us to welcome kids from the neighborhood and from our congregation to trick or treat. So we would like you, and you could be um, a couple, a family, an individual, partner up with some friends, maybe a committee. I'd love to see some committees from Northminster get together and offer to host a trunk. So you'll pull your car into the parking lot, open your trunk, Trunk, perhaps have some decorations out and bring candy to be a, about enough for about a hundred children we're going to plan for. So please sign up through the office. I'm looking for a, quite a few more to help us fill our parking lot with um, for our children and, and youth that day. So, so thanks in advance for, for coming out and helping with Trunk or Treat. We are inviting you to participate in baptism and membership whether it is for a wee one in your life, a child, a grandchild, whatever it might be, to celebrate they are a gift from God, um, or maybe for yourself to become a member, to say that Northminster matters to you, whether you are new to the community or you've been here for some time. We would love to formally welcome you as a member at Northminster. So please reach out to me. We're looking at some dates toward the end of October, where we'll do a private, um, simple service. We'll pre-record it and then share it during a Sunday worship. So we'll, we'll make sure it happens in COVID-safe ways. 
We don't have a graphic for this one, but um, you will have seen it in your Friday email. We are doing a fundraiser over the next couple of weeks, an Epicure fundraiser. You may know of Epicure already. Lots of us love their products, a Canadian company that um, provides um, wonderful seasonings and spices for, um, for cooking with. We are offering um, a kit where you'll get a number of packages to make meals, and they're great for whether you are um, an individual or a family, but some seasoning packages, um, you can buy the kit, or you can go to their website and purchase any other items that are just part of their regular catalog. But we would love for you to, um, to print off or pick up one of the order forms, help us sell Epicure to your friends and family, and then bring in the order form by the 22nd of October. Um, you might say, oh, I don't need any seasonings or, or anything like that. Maybe you want to buy one of those kits that we can then donate to the Friendship Center or to the food bank. So, so either way, we hope you'll participate in, in um, purchasing this great product and making a difference for Northminster. Other announcements do take time to read as well. Today, we do have coffee between 11.30 and 12, so um, don't email me because you probably have heard our emails are down, but text me, phone me if you don't have the link, and I can um, make sure you get the link this morning for coffee. All other announcements, look for them in your Friday email. And now, our blessing to end this Thanksgiving Sunday worship. May the eyes of your heart be open to all the blessings that surround you. May this awareness produce a harvest of generosity in your spirit. May thankfulness rise up within you. May you enjoy this day and live this thanks every day. May your prayers reflect gratitude while also acknowledging the needs of others that exist in this world. Now go in peace to serve God in, in all that you think and do and say. And God's peace, may it be with you always. Amen. We're going to go out singing now this lovely song, which we have received permission to share in today from Empty Hands Music. And it's a great song that celebrates how we can go out and live our gratitude. Happy Thanksgiving to you all, and we hope to see you soon. Bye for now. You're my life, you're my breath, you're a smile, you're my guest, you're the earth, you're the sun, you're the grass, you are love. You're my hands, you're a bug, you're my eyes, you're a hug, you're the light in the dark, you're the spark, you are fun. You're my mom, you are water, you're the stars, you're my daughter, you're my friend till the end, you're my dreams, you're my father. You're the ants on the ground, the miracles that surround, I'm feeling it all around, the hemisphere in the clouds. You're my pain, you're my sorrow, you're my hope for tomorrow, you're the strength when I'm hollow, you're the path that I follow. You're the blessings that exist, the small things that are bliss, the gift to realize that all that I am, all that Everything All will that feel I gorgeous. Am.
day I sit and pray cause what I have is more than I deserve or could ever imagine How do I give back to all of this magic and spread the love so everybody can have it Doesn't matter if I'm rich or poor, or if I got a family or if I'm all alone Bad things happen, I can just complain and moan, but there's a million things that I can be grateful for The small things that are bliss, the gift to realize that everything is a gift. All that I am. All that I see. All that I see.